everyone welcome to my channel this is the second part of uh, my previous video uh, if you guys please uh, subscribe for my channel if you want more videos like this one so you can practice for your CompTIA exams also I'll be uploading network plus in the future so thank you for the support and let's get started first question actually is question number six because we are doing 10 questions for per one practice test which of the following apply to windows work groups choose two answers okay we have few options here we need to select only two answers which one applies for windows work groups okay work groups typically consist of no more than 20 computers logging on to any computer in the work group requires an account on that computer Security policies and permissions in workgroups are administered centrally. There is no limit on the number of hosts that can become a part of a single workgroup or logging onto any computer on the workgroup requires a single account. Okay, which one of the following is this valid for Windows workgroups? And the first thing is that you cannot uh, connect more than 20 computers on one workstation on one work group and the second right answer is logging on to any computer in the one group requires an account on that computer let's have a look at the explanation we will go straight to work groups we are not uh, having a discussion on home group because we didn't have that as an option so work groups maximum 20 connections to a single workstation can function as a client and server together, peer-to-peer. -to -peer. Each client will maintain its own file and printer sharing. Many small offices uses this model normally in Soho network. Okay, let's go to the next question. Which part of the operating system defines how a piece of software works and it can be examined and modified by anyone? Or it can be examined and modified only by the owner? driver source code application or kernel right answer here is source code here is the explanation of that source code is the original code the software is written in can be open source or closed source open means anyone can examine and modify closed means only the developer on the or the owner of the code can examine or modify the code Driver is specific software written of instructing a particular operating system on how to access a piece of hardware. Application used is used to accomplish a specific task and kernel is the core of the operating system. Okay, we're going to the next question. Question number eight. Actually, it's the third question of this test. Okay, you want to protect your files on your Windows PC with encryption but you don't have TPM what can you use to protect your files full drive encryption BitLocker EFC BitLocker to go or use hide feature in Windows the right answer here is you need to you can use EFC encrypted file system encrypted file system will encrypt and protect files on an NTFC file system without the need of trusted platform module tpm stands for trusted platform module but bitlocker requires to have this module but with efc no you don't need it bitlocker to go is used with removable media and full drives full device encryption is used with mobile devices Question 9. Which of the following applies to Windows domains? Choose two answers. So we had a Windows work groups. Now we have Windows domains. This will help you how to identify them and to know the difference between them. That's important thing to know, actually. Okay, let's see the answers. Windows domains are based on the client-server client networking architecture. Logging on to any computer on the Windows domain requires a single set of credentials. Windows domains are based on the peer-to-peer -peer networking architecture. Each computer on the Windows domain has its own security policy. 
all num all members of the Windows domain must be on the same local network or subnet. We have here to write answers, and the first one is that logging onto any computer on the Windows domain requires a single set of credentials. And Windows domains are based on the client server networking architecture. The rest of the answers they don't apply for Windows domains. Okay, domain that's a Windows, uh, like, yeah, this is the answers actually, the right answers here. Uh, Windows domain that uh, requires that clients be joined to a domain. Joining a client to a domain allows user with an account in the domain to log into the client. Domain allows for files and printers to be secured with domain credentials. Microsoft Active Directory is main authentication method technology used with domain. Active Directory has group policies which can be applied to groups of users with specific set of rules and permissions. So let's go to the last question for this video. Which feature is used is used to align windows on the desktop? Charms, Metro UI, Cortana, Snap Assist or Spotlight? That's an easy question and the right answer is Snap Assist. Mm. Snap Assist allows for quick snapping alignment of a window on the desktop. Cortana is a digital person assistant. Spotlight will display random low pair charms are all introduced in Windows 8. So guys, basically that's it for today's video for this uh, practice test number two of uh, Core 2. Uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe for my channel. That uh, means a lot to me. Uh, if you guys share with me on the comments or any discussion would you like me to discuss or something anything i will appreciate it uh, also i'm planning to do to upload some videos or explanation about possible performance based questions on the core too uh, if i get any feedback it will be appreciated so yeah that's it guys please subscribe for my channel and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for your time. Bye.